We've all heard the term going green, and with the rising gas prices, wouldn't you like to never have to fill up at all? Well, the Purdue Solar Racing Team has created a concept car that will do just that. Here we have the Solaritas. It was unveiled in April, and it won first place at the Shell Eco Marathon Urban Concept Car Division. The idea was, you know, design a car, you know, that not only was efficient, because our cars historically have always been the most efficient possible, um, but also a car that, that really looked and operated like really a vehicle you'd see on the road, or, uh, an urban concept car in a way. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what we went with, and uh, uh, two years later after designing it and building it, here we are. You know, going into the race, we always had high expectations of the car, but, uh, you know, going there and it, being able to experience it, it uh, performing up to those and surpassing those expectations is, you know, is, it's amazing. And, and to see how, you know, the community, uh, you know, Indiana has, has, has wrapped around that and um, embraced what we've been able to do, you know, with, with our prototype vehicle, it's, um, it's amazing. And it, it, it's helped out, you know, from uh, hopefully here from a financial standpoint as, as the students get ready to uh, get into the hardcore design of a new car. Um, and, and moving forward into the future. So why did you choose the Urban Concept Division? Uh, we wanted to make a vehicle that uh, looks practical. It looks like it could be a car on the road. It's got all the bells and whistles of an actual vehicle. The Urban Concept Division is a d division within Shell E-Mobility that sets boundaries of what features you can have in a vehicle. It must have side doors, it must have headlights, tail lights. It pretty much has to be able to sit, you have to sit upright. That's one of the main criteria. So uh, it's pretty much they, they contain you to actual car attributes. So yeah, we want to expand on the prototype and uh, make it look realistic. Um, so you'll see a lot of uh, high-end electronic control systems. Um, it's all a digital control system. Um, in the past, we've done a lot of analog to where you know the driver pushes a button and it actually hard codes it in. But this time, um, it's a lot of computer controlled. So we can actually control this from up to 25 miles away, give all the data back to, uh, to anyone that's up to analyzing it. Um, a lot of the mechanical systems are robust enough for road use. Um, if you look at our suspension, um, the front suspension and rear suspension has been designed for road use. It's been all beefed up. Um, so it's something that we're really proud of. It cost $100,000 to design and build this car. All of the dollars were generated through corporate sponsorship or private donations. We talk about it being $100,000 in you know, either material donations or sponsor monetary donations and, and support, but uh, you know, that, that includes fixed costs, so it's, it's an expensive endeavor. Um, you know, solar cells uh, right now, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of room for improvement with solar cells and, and batteries and you know, storage of energy, and you know, it all comes at a price right now. But uh, you know, once you set aside the fixed costs, you know, it's, it's, it's relatively reasonable to produce uh, you know, a prototype like this. Through teamwork and innovation, the members have gained valuable knowledge in every aspect of these vehicles. They are taking a forward step into meeting our energy needs. This is really important stuff. I'm Allison Douglas for Boiler Bites.